This is a fish that you can step on and it's game over. Don't let the blue rings on this bad boy fool you because this little guy can take down 26 people. And this is the jellyfish from hell whose sting looks like you've been whipped with a flaming whip. Don't swipe or click away because here are the 12 most dangerous ocean creatures in the world. Number 12. Stonefish Don't worry, it's just the most venomous fish in the entire world, nothing to be alarmed about. Actually, the stonefish gets its name from the look because this venomous fish resembles a coral or a stone on the outside. It's perfectly camouflaged on the seafloor. Oh, but don't expect to see them only at depths of around 1,000 feet. They can wash up on the shore and some unaware swimmer will step on it. At this point, the spikes that are usually covered will shoot up and pierce the victim. Once the needle is inside, the fish will pump a huge dose of venom inside, just like you see here. At this point, you have two options. After you are done screaming, you can either look for the anti-venom and hope to god it gets there soon, or you can go with option number two. Take some water and heat it up to 45 degrees Celsius or 113 Fahrenheit. Once applied to the wound, it's been said that the heat will denature the venom. Number 11. Killer Whale If the sea was a war zone, then these guys would be an assassin. They're so intelligent and deadly that sometimes you wonder how they manage to hold them in those little aquariums at SeaWorld. They seem friendly in the tank, but they've been known to take the lives of several trainers and they're actually capable of killing a whale as its prey. Even though these black and white orcas weigh only 6 tons, which is chomp meat compared to a blue whale, it's not uncommon to see a group of them attacking a peaceful whale, kind of like a pack of hyenas going for a wildebeest. Number 10. Leopard Seal Now, you might think that they're friendly, but these guys can actually be deadly. They're the second largest species of seal and they can only be taken down by the guy we mentioned earlier, the orca. The adults have been known to be between 8 and 11 feet and weigh anywhere between 440 and 1300 pounds. This is roughly the same size as the walrus. Even though it uses its 1 inch canine teeth to kill fish, squid and krill, sometimes it'll take down an emperor penguin. Number 9. Great Barracuda When we think of dangerous fish in the sea, we don't think of the Great Barracuda. But these predators should really be feared. They can be between 24 and 40 inches in length and weigh somewhere between 5.5 and 20 pounds. They have a mouthful of teeth and they hunt by zapping across the water at 27 miles per hour, 43 kilometers per hour. Whenever they're around humans, they don't like to attack. They generally consider humans as large predators that they don't want to attack. But sometimes if they mistake a snorkeler for a prey, they've been known to bite off some of the diver's flesh in a vicious attack sometimes choosing attack as their defense technique rather than escaping, and don't even try escaping them. Number 8. Sea Snake Even though they have to resurface often to breathe, all of the sea snakes have perfected a swimming technique that allows them to live underwater. Now, you should know that the majority of sea snakes, uh, we're gonna be taking sides here, are all venomous. So, out of the 69 species, only a small percentage can smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no. In reality, only a few are non-venomous. And when you're dealing with venomous snakes in the water, the same rules that apply on land apply in the lake as well. Number 7. Moray Eel They might not be electric eels, but they're eels that are apex predators in their habitat. They're only prey to groupers, barracudas and sea snakes, which makes them really dangerous. To hunt, they usually hide on the ocean floor and when an opportunity presents itself, they strike. You might find some of the over 200 species in freshwater habitats, but most of them are like saltwater. And whenever you encounter one in the wild, swim as quickly as possible in the opposite direction and don't think about lunch if you manage to catch one. These are not your typical eels that are suited for eating. Their bodies contain toxins that could poison anyone consuming the flesh. The flesh is said to cause gastrointestinal, neurological, and cardiovascular problems. So far, there have been 57 people on record in the northern Mariana Islands that were poisoned after eating the head of this eel. Number 6. Needlefish Are they really dangerous and can they deal a lot of damage? Nope. Will they leap out of the water at 37 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour and attack any light they see on the surface? Yes. Sometimes when there are fishermen on shallow boats sailing across the sea, they'll get a barrage of needlefish attacking their boat and them. The bones inside the mouth aren't strong enough to deliver a deadly bite, but they've been known to cause scratches, wounds, and if the angle is quote-unquote just right, their sharp mouths might just pierce the skin. Imagine a 37-inch dart flying out of the water at 37 miles per hour straight at your head. That's scary. Number 5. Blue Sea Dragon 
The Latin name for the species is Glaucus atlanticus, and they're these small majestic creatures that make people want to pick them up and study them thoroughly. Bad idea. These sea slugs shouldn't be touched, they shouldn't be picked up, and they shouldn't be messed with. They look cute, but their blue dragon-like coloration hides a dangerous secret. You see, the blue sea dragon might only be one inch long, but they have venomous nematocysts from siphonophores. If you pick them up, you might get stung, and the symptoms can vary greatly. So if you're up for some nausea, vomiting, dermatitis, erythema, whatever that is, and urticarial papules, then by all means, pick it up. Go ahead, we dare you. Number 4. Great White Shark Do we need to say anything more when it comes to the Great White? I mean, everyone knows and fears the Great White, but now we would like to point out that there are some biologists who claim that these lions of the sea are actually friendlier with humans than the movies would have you believe. They can grow to about 20 feet in length or 6.1 meters and weigh anywhere between 400 and 5,000 pounds or 2,267 kilograms. Their lifespan is said to be over 70 years, and these old living geezers produce a bite with 4,095 pounds of force. Yeah, we still would advise against getting too close. Top 3 Number 3. Box Jellyfish Let's go to the podium. Our top 3 most dangerous ocean creatures in the world, these are the jellyfish from hell. Just so much as touching one of these in the water is more than enough to send you screaming. But imagine this blob of alien matter wrapping all of its 10 feet of tentacles around you. It's said that it only takes about 7 feet of the tentacle to touch your body and you would be dead. This is because the tentacles contain millions of microscopic needles along the length of the jellyfish. And yes, these are the scars that a box jellyfish leaves. It has the capacity to kill 50 people in under 20 minutes. Number 2. Blue Bottle Jellyfish they also call them the Portuguese Manoir, and this is another jellyfish found in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans which you should steer clear from. The gas-filled bladder is what keeps these blobs of what appear to be plastic on the surfaces of the water and they have no way of moving. They just let their tentacles float in the water and they wait for a poor fish to get paralyzed from the sting and then using the singers, they will pull the fish inside of them and consume them. You often see them on the beach and they look like inflated plastic bags, but don't pick them up. They're responsible for 10,000 stings each summer on the Australian beaches as people either step on them and they try to pick them up. Number 1. Blue Spotted Eagle Ray If the great crocodile hunter, Steve Irvin, could have gotten killed by one of these monsters, then we're gonna say that they're pretty dangerous, don't you think? And you seeing that killer whale slap the crap out of the little stingray is just a tactic to fool you. You see, stingrays are really intelligent. The spotted eagle stingray can be found in the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Oceans. They weigh around 507 pounds of 230 kilograms, and they can have a wingspan of 10 feet and a length of 16 feet. However, the deadliest thing on a stingray is its tail. Whatever you do, wherever you find one, either don't get close to it. If you get too close to it, watch that tail like your life depended on it, because it actually does. The spike is hidden inside the skin of the tail. It's this javelin-like spike made out of bone and has serrated edges that tear the flesh when you pull it out. There's a lot of bacteria inside that tail and the impact is usually poisonous. So the first thing that you have to do is put pressure on the wound and go seek professional medical attention. Usually the wounds are really hard to heal because of the bacteria and it's never a speedy recovery. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like the next one. This is Koala with quality content. See you soon.